today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Now, before I get started in this tiny travel trailer since I just finished my big one, I actually want to finish my truck camper. So up to this point on my channel, I pretty much always built everything completely out of wood. But in an effort to keep this truck camper as lightweight as possible, I am going to try to build the frame out of metal. Specifically, I'm going to be using aluminum. Now, aluminum is a lot lighter than wood. It's also the easiest metal to work with. I don't have a welder because I don't have electricity in here. I should be able to connect all this with a series of L brackets, rivets, and aluminum brazing. So this is actually gonna prove if I can make this strong enough with no welding whatsoever. I had literally no idea how to do any metalworking before making this video. So while I make my first ever metalworking joint, I figured it's a good time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of online classes for curious and creative people like myself. I've personally taken classes on woodworking, plumbing, electrical engineering, and of course, filmmaking. I recently finished a course about telling an engaging story during a video in less than a minute. And I've been using courses just like this to be able to improve the quality of my videos. As you know, I use a lot of storytelling in my videos to make my builds more interesting. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to this build. I got the first joint done kind of to test it out and I really think that this method is actually going to work I was a little bit skeptical with the L bracket and the braze aluminum but it really works this torch burns super hot and you don't have to like melt the aluminum you just have to get the aluminum hot enough to melt the brazing rod a few things I'm using to make this go a little bit easier I'm actually using ceramic tile here inside of my clamp the brazing uh, material needs somewhere to fit inside of the joint so by filing it down giving it a little chamfer the material can fit inside of there and then make sure you get all the oxidation off using a wire brush or sandpaper once you do that this joint is strong so i'm just going to let this sit here and cool off on the concrete i'm not going to try to speed up the cooling process at all but as of right now I tested it and it is a strong joint so I'm gonna go ahead tack everything together with the L brackets and then once it's all together then I'm gonna braze every joint and go from there.
everything as of right now i got it all tacked together and i just need to come through and finish up all the welds on the entire thing so as i was going i started getting better at it i kind of realized that uh like you can see how it's clumping up here when it clumps up like that that's because you actually weren't heating up the metal enough you were just uh, heating up the brazing rod as you can see here this is a much better it's where i've welded it it's stable but then the rest of it is kind of shaky so i can be able to get it all completely rigid and then we're good for the next step I've actually just used my saw blade to score a line on the metal, so I just set the depth so it wouldn't go all the way through. And now I'm just going to use some muscle right here. That's how I'm going to try to make this have a corner so that I can have less gaps and stuff to actually graze. Finally got the frame mostly put together minus a few tiny welds here and there so just preemptively answering a few questions that I know I'm gonna get in the comments this cost me about $85 for the diamond plate and then another $90 for the aluminum tubing that I use and then the next question I know I'm gonna get is the weight and uh, I haven't weighed it if I had to guess this thing is like less than 50 pounds total like across the whole thing it's very light before I continue on with this thing I'm gonna take this rack off my truck and see if this fits on the truck and if it does fit then I'm in business to continue on with the rest of the build stuff to finish on this camper before it's completely done but I didn't want to skip out on 
putting out a video this week so I'm gonna put out this video as the part one to this and then I'm gonna be coming back with a part two which is gonna be me doing the doors and electronics and then part three is going to be the rooftop tent that's going to hang over the cab of this that's why I made this the exact height of the truck cab right there so gotta say thank you guys for watching this all the way to the end and uh, I'll see you guys in the next part later Never at ease, I don't know a limit Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is I got a queen, she lit me the evening She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet You well overdue for that link up in person Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing a service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breaststrokes Cutthroat from the low low, where no love goes Women buddy buddy like it's been 